hello guys welcome back to the channel and this is our next problem problem number 499b and the problem name is lecture so uh, let's just read out and the problem <coughs> the time limit by test is one second and the problem is of b type so you have a new professor of graph theory and he speaks very quickly okay you come up with the following plan to keep up with his lecture and make notes so there is a professor of graph theory and he speaks very quickly and you have to make notes you know two languages and the professor is giving the lecture in the first one so you know the two languages and i think the english is easy to understand the words in both language consist of lower case english characters each language consists of several words okay so there are two language and they both consist of english characters and they both have several words so for each language all the words are distinct so for like english language we have all the 26 characters so all the words are also different here that is they are spelled differently moreover the words of these languages have a one to one correspondence <coughs> that is for each word in each language there exact exists exactly one word in the other language having the same remaining okay so you can write down every word the professor says in either the first language or the second language so okay so the, to make notes <coughs> sorry you can write down each word the professor says in either the first language or the second language of course during the lecture you write down each word in the language in which the world is shorter so while making notes you write the words in the language in which the world is shorter okay in case of equal lengths the correspond uh, the corresponding words uh, sorry in case of equal lengths of the corresponding words you prefer the word of the first language okay so if, if the lengths are equal then you are given the preference of first language so you are given the text of the lecture the professor is going to read find out how the lecture will be recorded in your notes okay so basically the first line contains two integers n and m okay let me just copy that case into okay sorry nothing to paste it says let me just copy it once again and it always says nothing to paste okay so cool yeah so basically and the n is the number of words in the professor's lecture and m is the number of words in each of these language okay the following m lines contains the words the ith line contains two string ai and bi meaning that the ai words belong to the first language and bi belongs to the second language okay and two words have the same meaning it is guaranteed that no word occur in both the language and each word occur in the ex language exactly one so basically you have to tell what is the output of the lecture the next n line separated integers contains the text of the lecture and uh, it is guaranteed that each of the strings ci belongs to the set of strings a1 a2 am okay so that means basically let's just go with point by point and so this is n and this is m this is the number of words <coughs> that are like used in the lecture of the professor so these these are n one two three and four okay and m is the number of words that are in present in the language in like the language you know and it consists of like quote forces is for the first language you know and its meaning or its equivalent word in the second language you know is codex secrof okay so that like i cannot pronounce it but yeah so for the second line it says this is for the first language contest and its equivalent is round okay so let's just make a dry run here and let's see uh, how is the output generated okay let me just uh, erase that and let's just copy it once again so that it is making sense okay so like for the first output how it is generated let's see so for the first word code forces so we see that this is our dictionary and this is the input 
of the notes that we are going to create like the lectures professors lecture worlds so for the first word code forces we are going to check the dictionary that code forces is of length 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so basically they are both of equal length and it is stated that in case of equal length of the corresponding words you prefer the word of the first language so the output is this is the output code forces cool okay so for the word round sorry so for the word contest you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 1 2 3 4 5 so round is preferred so yes for the same letter a letter is preferred because it contains like the less length than the message and for the word contest it says round so that is how our test case is made and this is the output generated so uh, let's just move and in directly into the code and how will we solving problem number 499b okay guys so problem number 499b okay so i think it doesn't need it that ahref it has automatically generated cool so let's remove that ahref so actually let's just go out and now what you have to do here like uh, what will be the approach to solve that problem like let's just code okay so first we are getting n number of words and professor uh, lecture yeah and INTM is the number of like words in the knowledge or say language yeah so mm, let's just the M lines as it says the M lines the number of word, the number of words in the each of the each of these language now just loop or M okay so basically we have to save like equivalent of code forces at code secrof so we have to save this as an equivalent of this this as an equivalent of this and this and this and you, for every input here you have to get this value and it's equivalent if it is if the length is less than that so basically you have to use a map for java so let's just define a map of string and a string and you say it is languages okay so let's it be an hash map stores the dictionary language like it stores the dictionary basically it stores the language basically for which you have to create the nodes by which well you will be creating the nodes and next is like you also have to like uh, let's just say you just you have to use strings also so basically now you just input the two of the strings cool and then how are you gonna push that into the uh, map so basically the key would be the equivalent uh, first language that the professor is going to dictate the lecture in so basically these all will be the keys code forces contest letter so let's just keep that to s and what will be the value so the value will be decided on the logic that if the length of the key is less than or equal to the length of the alternative language value then the key will be the value I think that makes sense so basically when the contest is the key so the its value will be round if the value if the length of round is less than or equal to contest I think that makes sense and that is we are also following in the solution here 
you have to uh, keep the values like you have to uh, like keep the nodes in which the length of one of the language is less and if they are equal then you have to give the priority to the first language as it is clearly stated in the uh, problem statement so let's just use s1 dot length is less than e sorry s dot length is equals to s1 dot length cool and if that is equal then keep s else s1 cool yeah. so i have just used a map it's called dictionary in python also so nothing in much done here while now n minus minus the professor's lectures are gonna be the input now you have to store the result also so i will use a string builder class in java so you should read about the string builder class uh, why it is used and what is the difference between string builder and string so result dot add append okay then what you have to do here exactly is that you have to just get the value of the uh, input key yeah and then you have to append an space <coughs> sorry and then nothing you have to just print that nothing else so basically let's just run that okay cool so code forces round letter and round that passes the test case and let's just move to another h v y n c jol jol u n jol okay so i think that makes sense and the problem is clear let's just submit the solution okay um tick tick one tick tick two and it is running and i think we are gone shit or not shit okay, let's let's just have some patience and let's see what happens okay and if nothing happens <laughs> then i'm gonna quit it <laughs> okay so where are we are okay it has been stuck have i handled all the cases yep i have handled all the cases except it so his guys the following solution is accepted so uh, thank you thank you for watching guys uh, bye bye good night and stay tuned to the channel uh, i have more plans to do uh, more of the competitive videos and covering the algorithm paradigms and everything else so let's see what uh, what time i'm gonna do it okay bye bye